Welcome back from spring break, guys. I hope you had a wonderful, relaxing spring break. And it's time to get back in gear. So we last learned about a design process, how first we identify a problem, we identify our limitations or constraints, and we pick criteria that we want to solve. Then we go into planning, where we brainstorm some ideas and we come up with technical drawings so we can build it later. And my goal as your teacher in technology is to get you comfortable with these technical skills. So let's define the term. A te technical skill is a skill that takes practice. It's something that gets easier with more practice and you can't be good at it until you've learned the basic procedure and then gotten more practice with it. Anyway, so when we're doing our sketching, Okay, you may know how to design stuff on a computer with all the details, dimensions, perfectly defined. But, it doesn't make sense to start that way. Instead, we start with pen and paper, or pencil and paper, to draw. Um, why? It's a lot faster, and you can get all of your different ideas out. It doesn't make sense. Alright, so I've got some key things for you to practice your drawing with. Number one. You're going to need a pencil with an eraser. Uh, on a piece of scrap paper, test the eraser. This one's junk. So I'm going to use a mechanical pencil. The eraser's good on this. That's one. Number two, you want to make sure that you are resting your wrist. Why do we rest our wrist? Because our arm is heavy. And if I'm trying to draw while holding my arm, it's going to turn out worse. So rest your wrist. Number three, I got my eraser, I'm resting my wrist. Use very light lines because you can always darken them up, but you can't always erase them completely away. Using light lines will let you uh, do a good drawing. Keep it simple. Um, lastly, if you, you can draw with just your fingers or your wrist, but I want to point out, my wrist and my fingers generally, well, my wrist follows a curve. So I find that I use my arm, and I, you see how my entire arm is moving up and down? When I sketch, I sometimes use my entire arm or just my fingertips. Um, so today's task, you are going to find a how-to website or video for how to draw something. Now, this is a technical skill, so something I want to keep in mind is that depending on your level, you may not be able to do something very crazy or intensive. So I pulled up this website, How to Draw Pikachu. Fairly simple, and they give you step-by-step -step instructions. Here you see they've got light sketch lines that are messy and they define it more with center lines for the eyes or the ears or the shoulders or the nose and then it's all about adding detail and you copy this and you practice it and you get better if you don't want to follow pictures you can follow a video i think pictures are better because then you don't have to watch them do it instead you can you can copy what you see and so to summarize for today, you find a how-to website, book, video, and I want you to draw that object and submit it to Google Classroom. All right, so you can do your task now, but if you want, here's a little added bonus. So just to show you some sketching here, once again, this is optional. I'm going to draw a face. So here's my oval for the face. I'm going to do a front line to show the direction the face is looking. And I'm going to do this line to show the eyes. Now that I got this front, I can start with the nose. And here, you see I'm just using my arm. The ear should be just about hitting the same level as the eye. Now I'm going to do some cartoony eyebrows. Let's go light 
because I don't like how that left one came out. Okay, I can do some eyes, maybe a smile. So yeah, let's go bigger on that. Just like that. Maybe a tongue. Cool. Good. And now I'm going to just add some detail. And here I'm using my fingertips with my arm. There it is. And we're missing something here. There we go. Looks pretty good. Let me fix up that nose a little bit. And that's just a little display of some sketching. Anyway, I hope you have fun with this, and I'll see you later.